Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited and honored and also a little bit nervous to be filming today's video. Today I am bringing you my very first ever P.O. Box haul video. I opened a post office box, a private mailbox for myself a couple months ago because many of you were messaging me and asking if there was an address you could send me something at. And so I opened a private mailbox and ever since I did that I've really been receiving like a ton of cards and letters and emails even gifts and really nice things in my P.O. Box. And I featured a few of them on my channel before, but I have so much in front of me from the last several weeks that I feel like I need to devote a separate video just to what I've received in my post office box. I'm honestly so shocked and so overwhelmed that anyone would want to send me anything. I'm just kind of a random Disney loving nerd on the internet, um, but I'm truly, truly appreciative. So I wanted to share some of that with you and properly thank all the people who have gone out of their way to send me something in the mail. Before I jump right into this haul video, I'd just like to preface it by saying I am in no way trying to show off the things that people have sent me to my mailbox. It really is more of a way for me to say a sincere thank you to anyone who has taken the time to mail me anything. So that is the spirit of this video. I hope that comes across, but I just thought I'd throw that little disclaimer out there just in case. I have quite a few things that I'd like to share with you today, but I'm going to start out with two packages that came from fellow YouTubers. Ever since I joined YouTube back in May of 2017, I've had the pleasure and the honor of becoming friends with several people who also have YouTube channels and a couple of those lovely ladies have sent gifts to me so I'm going to share those with you first because I know what it's like to put yourself out there on the internet. It's a big risk and it feels kind of vulnerable and I just I want to give these ladies special acknowledgement not only for sending me presents which was totally unnecessary but also just for you know taking the plunge and putting yourself out there and, um, and, and being yourself to the world. I just think that's amazing. So first gift I want to share with you is actually a big Christmas box that came from my friend Lindsay. This is the box and Lindsay's channel is called Ears to Mickey and her channel has content that's very similar to mine. It's like Disney pin videos, Disney unboxings, Disney tips and things like that. So I'm going to link to Lindsay's channel Ears to Mickey down below. And when I first opened this box and saw what was inside, I freaked out a little bit because you guys look at this. She sent me a Pluto plush, but it's not just any Pluto plush. It is Pluto from the Pirates of the Caribbean scene where the dog has the keys in his mouth and all the pirates who are in jail are kind of trying to tempt the dog to give them the keys. That is one of my favorite scenes in all of Disney. And Lindsay must have heard me say that on my channel because I've said it a few times and it really is one of my favorite Disney things ever. And she actually found this little guy in the parks and look at him he's Pluto he's got a little like pirate cap on and he's holding the Pirates of the Caribbean keys in his mouth this is precious it's really special to me because I love Pluto but I also especially love things that are related to classic park attractions I think this just kind of has my name all over it so thank you so much Lindsay this is so awesome he will have a prominent place maybe behind me for a few months now because I just want to look at him all day long but amazingly, that is not all. Lindsay also sent me this really cute Tsum Tsum Minnie Mouse Lip Smacker. So it's like a stackable Tsum Tsum, but it is also a lip balm and it is in the shape of Minnie Mouse and it looks like it's a strawberry flavored lip balm. That is so cute. I haven't had lip smackers in many years, probably decades. So this kind of takes me back. And I didn't really even know that these existed, but this is super fun. I'm kind of curious to see what other characters and what other flavors they make of this. And finally, there was one more really special item that came in this box from Lindsay and it's a Christmas ornament that amazingly I did not already have. I've seen this a few times. I don't know what stopped me from buying it. Probably just like good old self-control and restraint. Um, but I'm so glad she thought of me when she saw this and picked it up for me because it is beautiful. Let me show you a close-up of this. It is a Robin Hood and Maid Marian Christmas ornament. They are coming out of their wedding. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's tons of detail on it and it's perfect for me. And if you're new to my channel, you might not know that I do an all Disney themed Christmas tree every single year and it's too late to put it on for this year, but this will definitely be going on my Disney tree for next year. So thank you so much, Lindsay. I super appreciate your thoughtfulness and your generosity and I'm going to get you back, girl. And like I said, I will link to Lindsay's lovely Disney YouTube channel, Ears to Mickey, down in the description box below. 
Now, my other YouTube friend who also sent me a way too generous gift is Rowan from the YouTube channel, The Disney Damsels. I'll link to them down below. It's actually Rowan and Mina's channel, and they are hilarious. And they do a lot of different Disney content. They are super into like the handmade ears. They've got a lot of videos on handmade ears. But Rowan sent me a message a few days ago, maybe it was like a week ago now, and she was like, hey, I got something from Amazon. It's coming to your PO box. Let me know when it gets there. I was like, okay, that's that sounds great, thank you. I didn't know what I was expecting. But I got this thing in my P.O. box and I like cried a little bit because it's so incredible. It is this beautiful, beautiful Jim Shore Zootopia figurine. And it features two of my favorite characters of all time, Judy Hopps, who's pretty much my hero, and that sly fox, Nick Wilde. Let me show you a close-up because the detail is gorgeous and it's so much bigger. I had seen this online, it's so much bigger than I thought it would be. And it's just such a stunning gift and I cannot wait to put this out. So there it is. It's Nick and Judy and it's like just the whole thing is so pretty and it's got that kind of classic Jim Shore touch and kind of color and style to it. Um, Jim Shore is a Disney artist who does a lot of really cool figurines if you haven't heard of him. And I am really one of the biggest Zootopia fans ever, so I thought this was just such a kind and thoughtful and generous thing to send my way. I absolutely love it, Rowan. Thank you so much. And I actually also received a separate package for Christmas from Rowan and Mina, the Disney damsels, and they sent me the cutest Christmas card ever of them. It says, have yourself a merry little Christmas, which is my favorite Christmas song, by the way. And then it says, Disney damsels, Rowan and Mina. And they are just too, too cute. They are based out of New York and I just love them and I really hope to meet them both someday soon. And then inside was this amazing little package and I recognize the packaging because it is actually something that is handmade by another YouTube friend of mine, Coral from Coral Joy Travel. And Coral actually she has an online Disney inspired um, Etsy jewelry shop and they sent me this bracelet and it is this beautiful beautiful beaded bracelet it's got a charm on it and the charm says Ohana and if you're familiar with Lilo and Stitch Ohana means family and they included the sweetest, sweetest note that essentially said they're happy that we're all kind of part of this Disney YouTube family together. So this is my Ohana Disney family bracelet. And it's amazing because it came from Rowan and Mina, who are amazing, but it was also made by another one of my Disney YouTube friends, Coral. So I will link to the Disney damsels down below. I'm also gonna link to Coral down below, her, her jewelry shop. And I'm just like, I've only, I've only barely gotten into this video and I'm overwhelmed by kindness and I don't even know what to say. So, so thank you Rowan and Mina for the beautiful bracelet and Rowan, that Zootopia figurine is just over the top. I super appreciate all of you. Coral and your beautiful jewelry making skills. I'm gonna put this on me right now. It's just one of my favorite things. I'm like never ever gonna take this off. Okay, the next thing I'd like to show you is a gift from one of my subscribers, Julia, in California. I had no idea this was coming, but this lovely box arrived in my PO not too long ago. And inside there was a beautiful long letter that I'm not going to share with you. I'm gonna kind of keep that private and keep that to myself, but I loved the letter so much and I will do my best to write you back, Julia. I'm not that good of a letter writer, but I will do my darndest. And then inside she sent me such thoughtful gifts. Let me show you. So the first thing she sent me was this really cute Belle Hallmark Christmas ornament. Let me take it out of the box and show you. So here she is, she's Belle, she's made of wood and she's super sweet. This is definitely going on my 2018 Disney tree for sure. And then also inside the box, there was this little pouch, the cutest pouch, and it's um, designed by Kath Kidston. Is that how you say it? Kath Kidston? And it's a Disney-themed pouch, but there was a little tag on it, and it says, something for now, something for later, much love and pixie dust, Julia. So the pouch is for now. Let me show you a close-up of the pouch because it is adorable. It's got all kinds of Disney cuteness on it, and I will definitely be using this as a toiletry pouch when I take my upcoming Disney trips at the end of this month. But inside the pouch is actually the kicker. When I opened this, I, I actually cried. Like tears came out of my eyeballs when I saw this. Um, I got super emotional. And it is actually a Dumbo baby outfit. Like she sent me baby clothes featuring Dumbo. Look at the little pants and the little shirt. Look how cute that is. Look, there's even a little giraffe on it and I love giraffes. 
And honestly, that means so much to me because I've been pretty open on my channel that my husband and I are trying to start a family. We haven't had great luck so far. We're really hoping that 2018 is the year that um, we kind of can add a new family member to, to our, our very small crew here. And I'm just so touched that she thought to send me that. It kind of feels like a good luck charm. I actually kind of want to fold this up and put it under my pillow when I sleep at night for like some extra pixie dust and, and good luck with, with baby making, not in a crude way, like in a, in a real way. Like I really want to have a baby, you guys. So um, I'm just so touched by this. So thank you so much, Julia. That was over and above and so sweet. And like I said, I, I literally cried when I got this package. So thank you and I really appreciate you. I think I got myself a little worked up over that last gift and I'm actually just gonna take this sweater off. Oops, there goes my ears. Um, because I'm just super hot and overheated now. Let me pull myself together. That green sweater was just, it was getting to be a bit much. So and now I can move on. All right, the next gift I'd like to share is a gift that came to me from Caroline in Germany. She actually posted a picture of this, I think maybe on my Facebook. And I was like, why haven't I seen that? And she said, well, it's a it's a Europe exclusive. Do you want me to send it to you? And I was like, sure, let me, let me pay you to get, to get this thing for me and she was like no no like I'll get it it's it's a gift so she totally did not have to do that but let me show you what this is because I saw this and I needed it for my Disney Christmas tree it's amazing it is a beautiful Christmas tree ornament featuring Miko from Pocahontas. I love Disney animals. Miko was one of my favorites. Pocahontas is actually one of my favorite Disney movies. I think it's actually kind of underrated personally, but I love the glittery detail on the top. It's just this beautiful glow, but it kind of looks like he's in a wintry forest. It's so stunning. And the tag actually says Disneyland Paris. So I'm assuming this was available in Disneyland Paris, although I think she ordered this online from the uh, German Shop Disney store. This is seriously so awesome. I wish it was Christmas again now so I could hang this up right now, but I'm going to lovingly wrap this up and save it for next Christmas. Caroline also included a really cute Christmas postcard and a little Tsum Tsum that I actually can't tell what it is. I feel like I thought it was one of the Siamese cats, but now I'm thinking it might be something from like the Lion Guard. I don't know. If you know who this is, let me know because I can't quite tell. And then she also sent me this pin of Snow White's Prince. So, so many sweet things in her package. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Caroline, for picking that ornament up for me. I'm super touched and I hope that you had a very Merry Christmas. The next thing I'd like to share also comes from overseas. This is from a subscriber of mine in Sweden, Victoria. Victoria and I have been chatting a little bit on email and I know I sent her a Christmas card and she said she would send me one back, but she actually sent me a beautiful package and I actually kept the wrapping because it had these like gorgeous gold stars on the paper and all these cool stamps from Sweden. Seriously, look how cool these are. This just makes me want to start a stamp collection or something. I'm not someone that typically keeps packaging, but the whole parcel was just so elegantly put together that I, I have to keep that, at least for a little while. And Victoria sent me an adorable Christmas card with a really sweet message inside, which again, I'm keeping private because I just, I don't know, I kind of want to have an intimate connection with my subscribers and not share everything with the world. And she also sent me two presents, which was totally unnecessary and incredibly kind. The first one is a miniature 2018 Disney calendar, and it features the artwork of Thomas Kincaid. Let me give you a close-up of this. It's gorgeous. So here is a look at the front. There's Mickey and Minnie in a cute little cottage. And then in the back, there's a whole bunch of other beautiful Disney scenes by Thomas Kincaid, who's quite a popular um, artist in the Disney world. And I particularly love this one that's featured here for November because it's the seven dwarves in the, in the diamond mine. I love it. I'm glad I'm getting this video filmed today because I can finally open this up and put it out somewhere where I can see it every day. I, I love it so much, so thank you, Victoria. And the second item that she sent me is going to look familiar. She also picked up this same Robin Hood and Maid Marian wedding Christmas ornament for me. And there it is again. It's so, so beautiful. And before anyone starts thinking, oh, that's awkward, two people sent her the same ornament or something silly like that, this is actually perfect because my sister, I have one sister, my baby sister, is actually getting married this year in October. And they are also Disney fans, my sister and her fiance. And this is going to be such a precious wedding gift. I am going to be passing along one of my two Robin Hood ornaments to them to put on their tree for their first year as a married couple. And so it's like, 
serendipitous that two people sent this to me because I can have one for myself and I can gift one to my sister and her fiance, soon to be husband. And I just think it's gonna be a special thing for us both to display on our tree this coming year, which is the year that the two of them are getting married. So I'm touched and honored and thank you so much. This is more than awesome. Okay, moving on to another gift that I recently received. I recently picked up this very heavy box which was very jingly and jangly from a subscriber in my home state of Minnesota. This is from Paula in Minnesota, and it is actually full of Disney pins. Paula basically sent me her entire Disney pin collection saying, you know, you can keep these, you can trade these. I know you're going to the parks. I'm not really using these anymore because I no longer go to the parks. And she just gifted me basically, I counted like 68 Disney pins in this box. It was so, so kind and thoughtful, and I will put them all to good use. Some of them I'll keep for my own collection some of them I will definitely be passing on to other people um, but I really did find a couple of gems and I'm so thankful that you sent these to me so please know Paula that these are going to get a good home I mean seriously there are so many of these pins in this box but I just want to show you my favorite one before I move on this is my favorite one of the bunch it is actually an Animal Kingdom pin and it features Winnie the Pooh and a tiger and he says Tigger is that you and my husband's nickname is Tigger, so this is one of my favorite Animal Kingdom designs. I have several pieces of merchandise with this same design on it. I don't have this pin. The pin is dated 2008, so it's a little bit before I got obsessed with Tiggers and Animal Kingdom, but I'm so excited to have this for my own personal collection, so thank you again, Paula. I love this. Next thing I want to share with you came from my subscriber Megan in St. Louis. Megan sent me a very sweet Christmas card, and she also sent me a Christmas ornament that she handmade Made, and she made it out of an Animal Kingdom park map. So she made this herself and it features an Animal Kingdom map from her most recent Disney trip. And the crazy thing is we were actually both in Disney World at the same time when she was on this trip. I was down there, she was down there, and we both ended up having to cut our trips short because of Hurricane Irma. So it's got a lot of meaning and I'm really delighted that she decided to send this to me. So here it is, it's a cute wooden cutout ornament and she has on top part of an actual Disney Animal Kingdom map from her trip. On the back she's written Animal Kingdom 2017. And I just love this, it's really special. I cannot wait to put this on my tree next year. And by the way, this is the beautiful card that Megan sent me and it looks like it's handmade. So Megan, if you made this, this is stunning, wow. And if you didn't make it, it's still stunning. I'm gonna put this out. I'm, I'm definitely gonna hang on to this one because I love everything musical and music notes and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous Christmas card. Okay, this next thing I received didn't come with any note. Um, it did come from Asheville, North Carolina, but there was no note. All that was inside of this envelope was one thing. And it is a Snow White Funko plush doll. And I love Snow White. She's my favorite Disney princess. And she's actually quite cute. She's kind of like got a beanbag bottom. So I think she sits upright. Very fun and adorable. But there was no note. So if you sent this to me, I would like to be able to properly thank you. And I just want to make sure I get it to the right person. So send me an email to my email address down below so I can make sure I send you a proper thank you note. Because I love Snow White and I'm totally going to add this to my Snow White collection. So thank you person, whoever you are, from North Carolina. Next I have some more cute international mail I'd like to share with you. This is from Karina in Denmark. And Karina sent me some really, really cute goodies that I've actually never seen before. There's an adorable note that's on Winnie the Pooh paper, which is absolutely delightful. And she said she was hoping that she could use some of these items for my upcoming pin board, so I will definitely be doing that. Here's what she sent me. Firstly, everything is tucked into this super cute Snow White bag, and this is like the best Snow White bag possible because it's not just Snow White, but it's Snow White with a bunch of animals. So that's pretty much me in shopping bag form. She included all these cute Disney princess stickers, and there's many Snow Whites on here, and I love that. And she sent me this gorgeous postcard of Snow White receiving the poisoned apple from the old hag. This is another favorite Disney scene of mine, totally iconic scene, and I will be using this in an upcoming pin board for sure. And there was also this really cute 101 Dalmatians envelope tucked inside, and inside of the envelope, there are all kinds of Disney trading cards and stickers. So there's some Snow White themed stickers and I'm seeing Zootopia themed cards and she basically just picked out like all my favorite things in like trading card form and they're amazing. So I am totally gonna be tacking these up and putting these all over the place. There's Snow White. Um, so thank you so much, Karina. That was so thoughtful. I, I appreciate it more than you know. 
and also from Denmark, which is great because I have Danish heritage and also German if you're curious about my 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 heritage. I'm German and, and Danish basically. Um, but I've got this really lovely um, holiday card from Lucia, one of my lovely subscribers that I've been really happy to be able to connect with a little bit over the past several months. She's a sweetheart. So I've got this great card and there are um, little Denmark flags everywhere. And then here's the cute cutout. I'm totally gonna save these Christmas cards and like put them up on a board next Christmas, by the way. And she's written me a very, very sweet note. And then she also sent me some postcards from Denmark, which I love. Like I actually used to collect postcards from all over the world and I stopped because my collection was getting out of control. I have collecting tendencies, but I also don't like to be a hoarder. So I have like this weird love hate. Like I want to get all the things, but then I kind of want to call them down and be like really pristine and almost minimalist with my stuff. Let me know if you have this dichotomy in your life. I'm sure I'm not the only person that like loves to collect, but also loves to have things be simplified. Let me know if you're like me, but she sent me two really lovely postcards from Denmark and I really appreciate that and Lucia I'm gonna send you um, a thank you note but I'm also gonna send you some postcards from where I live so yay postcards I also want to share this card from Hannah in Oshkosh Wisconsin I know where that is um, because inside the card and it's a really adorable Christmas card by the way she actually pinned in one of the Christmas jammies pins I loved the Christmas jammies pin set this year and I didn't get as many as I hoped I would in terms of variety so she sent me the clear a cowbell pin, which is really cute. I like her jammies, but the weird thing is it looks like she's picking her nose, which I don't think she is because that's not very Christmassy, um, but it is kind of a funny pin. So thank you so much for, for sending me that, Hannah. I, I appreciate it. I'll be putting this on my, my pin board. Oh, and I have to show you this. I got a card from Kristen in Illinois, really, really pretty card, but tucked inside the card are these incredible Snow White stickers, and I think they're actually kind of vintage-y Hallmark stickers. I don't think these are recent at all. And she knows, like everybody probably knows by now that I'm a huge Snow White fan. It's also the Snow White 80th anniversary right now. But look at how stunning these stickers are. I'm totally a sticker person, and if you are also a sticker person, you will know how magical it was to receive this in the mail. So thank you so much, Kristen, for sending me some stickers from your collection. I love these, and I will not be using them. I will just be hoarding them forever and ever. Okay, we are getting down to the bottom of the gifts, and I just have a few more cards that I want to show you, just beautiful cards that people have sent me, and I would like to acknowledge them on camera for sure. First, I have a letter from one of my favorite subscribers, Gabrielle. Gabrielle is in Florida. She comments on a lot of my videos. And she sent me this, this really cute letter. There's a whole bunch of stickers on it. And I won't share the note with you, but I will share the P.S. Gabrielle says, P.S. I would love if you made a mail time series, like magic mail time series, kind of like what I'm doing with this video right now. I'm like kind of hesitant to make videos about me like opening letters from you guys. Is that weird? I don't know. I don't want it to seem like braggy, but I want to make sure that I acknowledge people and say a sincere thank you because I am so grateful. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this kind of video. Just like me sharing some of my P.O. Box magic mail maybe once a month. I don't know. I'm, I'm still kind of warming up to the idea, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on whether or not you like these kinds of things. Um, and Gabrielle, I mean, is it Gabriel or Gabrielle? Oh, I just wanna make sure I say it right. Um, I will be sending you a note back and thank you so much for your letter. I also got this cute, cute family Christmas card. Here it is, so, so cute. And this is from my friend Leah, who also has a YouTube channel. Her channel is Leah Tackles, and she talks about Disney stuff as well, so I will link to her channel, Leah Tackles, down below. Thanks, Leah, for the card, very sweet. I got this amazing Christmas card from Amy in Wisconsin, and I love the Peanuts gang, and I love the Charlie Brown Christmas special, so this is awesome, and I'm totally gonna hang on to this and put it out somewhere next year. And last, but certainly not least, I just received this a couple days ago. This is a card that came from a subscriber in Canada. This is from Melissa in Canada, and this is a handmade card, and it is amazing. So it says Christmas wishes, and it's got a really cool Mickey head on it, and Melissa wrote me the absolute sweetest, kindest note on the inside, um, and I'll be sure to send you a note back, Melissa. Um, but I just absolutely love this card. I'm keeping this forever. Thank you. Okay, that is the end of the mail pile for today. That was definitely some magic mail, if I've ever seen magic mail. Thank you so much to to everyone who took the time to send me a card or a letter or a gift. Also to the people that have reached out to me on 
Instagram or email or on my Facebook groups. I just super appreciate all of the Christmas and New Year's greetings I received and I'm a new YouTuber and all of the encouragement really means a ton to me. I don't know if I didn't have like such nice interactions with you guys, I don't know that I would keep going because making videos is a lot of work. Um, but I love it and I love it mostly because I've met so many awesome people. So um, you can be an awesome subscriber and never send me anything that's totally fine. Like I'm not expecting that anyone sends me anything in the mail, but for the people that did like thank you from the bottom of my heart. I super appreciate it. If you do feel so inclined to send me something, my P.O. Box address is listed down below in the info box or the description area of the video. You don't have to send me anything, but if you do, I will try to find a way to feature it on one of my videos, and I will definitely also send you a thank you note in the actual mail because it's just really important to me that I properly thank all of you for your support and for your kindness and for your generosity. Again, let me know how you feel about this type of video. I felt a little apprehensive of filming this like I was like oh does it seem like I'm bragging but I really want to say thank you and like the thank you piece just kind of won out over all of my nervousness around it but I would love to hear your thoughts on more videos like this down below I'll keep them to a minimum like maybe once a month um, but just let me know what you think I'm, I'm curious to know and I'll be back really soon with more Disney related content thanks so much for watching you guys have a magical day and I'll see you soon bye